Alright, welcome back facehuggers. Now, I have some crazy ideas in my head right now. And I just can't shake the ideas that I have. So I need to tell them to you. And, and I would love to hear your point on it. So, but this might be a long video. I will be ranting a lot. So I will try to edit it down a bit. But this comes straight from my heart. And this would change Eve Echoes for the better for both casuals and hardcore players. So I hope you have a few minutes and let's get right down to it. So my thought went through, what changes does the game need to mix the casual and the hardcore players so that it goes hand in hand? This is my attempt to improve and even fix the issues we have today. I don't have all the answers, I can make a second video if you want me to dive into even more stuff. But after this video, you will have a picture of how I would like to see everything unfold. New Eden is a well-established universe that have a foundation to be as diverse as the developers want. There are three main areas. There are high sec, low sec and no sec. There is yet no wormholes, but I will bring that up later. What we need is a need for all the areas. Now you could say that high sec is needed for new players and so on, but we need something real. Right now all the areas got the same stuff, but the further out, the harder the content, the more expensive and rare the stuff is. And this is of course something we need to have. More risk equals more profit. And for hardcore, this is something we strive for. We want to be out there, we want to get the juiciest loot. And can you solely live in nullsec without ever having to go to high sec? Yes you can. And this is also something we need. Building a place in the unknown where we can provide with everything. The only bad thing here is that to do this, we should be able to need to choose what to do. Today when you mine, you get everything you need. You get all types of ores for example. But if we would change this a bit, if for example we would make the belts in nullsec spawn almost only nullsec ore. And rarely high sec ore. And we remove the trit and the score dice from the nullsec ores. This impact will make us need the cheaper ores out in Null, but we will not casually just get it. It would be a choice we had to choose. For example, mining the expensive ore or mining the cheap ones that now and then spawns. Make Veldspar or other high sec ore less frequent in Null. This would give us that option to mine it when it spawns or haul it if we buy it from Empire. This also gives high sec miners something they can rely on and mine to sell. I could see corporations just working for null sec corporations or null sec corporations having high sec corporations that just do the job for them. And don't turn off the video, please don't. I have a great way for this, you need to listen to everything. We have the condensed belt in null sec. How about we have the condensed high sec ore spawns in null sec as well. They will spawn very rarely but it will make people change their plans to get that loot without hauling it. Not because it's expensive, but because it's easy. The same for Isaac. We could have very rare spawns of mining anomalies that could have some Nullsec ore in it. Just to spice things up. Now all I'm saying is that having this variety makes stuff seem more alive. How we tweak these spawn rates, it's not, <laughs> it's not my job, but I just want us to move stuff back and forth. And for high sec miners, they will be able to mine some Nullsec ores once in a while, you know? But that is not enough. We need to make low sec mining more profitable too. There's no reason to mine in low sec today, even if some people do. But low sec really has nothing. It's a gateway between high sec and null sec that serves no purpose. The only purpose it has is that if you do missions, then you could get hunted down. That's pretty much it. But I will change that in this video too. Just hear me out, keep staying on the video, we can have the discussion later. What if low sec would get something different? In EVE Online we have gas harvesting. That's something that's available in all the EVE universe. If we would make low sec and maybe wormholes be the only areas for gas harvesting, would make low sec something we dare venture into. What the gases should be used for is not for me, I, but I say something with industry, that seems obvious. This gives low sec area a meaning. And venture out there for some nice gas harvesting would be a full time job. Call it semi casual. For bigger corporations, they would probably send out a fleet to guard their miners in low sec 
without any bubbles and well in danger of players who live out there, called pirates. I know there's probably some holes in this idea, but the more I keep thinking about everything here, it sounds better. So in terms of mining we now have given reasons for all the areas. No longer will casual miners have a sour taste in their mouth. They will be needed and corpse will dedicate to different areas in doing different jobs. Another thing that the game needs is hauling corporations. Or hauling in general. Now today we have none really. And it's not a great job. Most people haul for themselves. This is due to hauling can be done in interceptors I would say. But casual players who want to start a hauling empire have a bad day. My solution to this is, I've told you guys before, but first off for real hardcore casuals we need stuff to haul. And today personally I can haul everything I have in Jita to Amar in one trip with my freighter. The reason to do this don't exist, so let's make some. Implement commodities please. This is stuff like passengers, Water, grains, animal, drugs. You know, stuff that sells for 10 isk in Dodixi and buys for 12 isk in Amar by NPCs. This is a great start for casuals to haul back and forth for an okay sum of isk. The more isk they buy for, the more isk they will turn over in the end. I would be as bold to say jumping 30 minutes can give you like 5 to 10 million. This would be good enough for casuals to log in and log off. They could then of course also take other people's items and deliver at the same time for that extra profit. Not only did we solve a big portion of the players right now, we also made the game more alive. But this is not all. I hope you guys are still here. This thing would make us need more high sec and maybe even low sec trading hubs. If they would sell these commodities in low sec as well, some bold pilots will even venture there for even better profit. The values could change every week or every other week, whatever NetEase wants, so the route would change. Isaac Hauling Corporation could form that could even haul items in Nolsec, even with support. For a higher fee, of course. This makes items move around, and this is what we want. And this is not everything, and I don't want you guys to miss this. But me and Captain Bensi discussed this a lot, and he actually said a great thing that would help items to move around. What if the stations in different regions had less tax on different items? Now don't be angry, don't go away, we are not disqualifying Gita, but Galente and Amar could have less tax on armor modules, lasers and rails for example. Kaldare and Minmatar could have less tax on shields and missiles and projectiles. Think about this for a while, some people would favor those areas to make the most out of their ISK, items again would move around. Jita on the other hand would still be highly favored due to always having the items at your fingertips. But they would be just more expensive. Now this is just an idea we did spitball and I thought about it even more after that. But I think we should change it even more. Maybe split all items within all races. Amar for lasers and armor, Galente for projectiles and armor and so on. Otherwise there will just be two trade-ups, Amar and Jita. So if we have all four, then we will have Dodixi and Renz as well. So imagine this scenario I just painted for you guys. Now imagine a better insurance solution. And I'm gonna say it, one that only gives raw isk back. With this we have a living breathing universe with each and every one of us in need for our task. Hardcore and casuals living side by side, just like real life. Everyone is dependent on everyone in some sense. This game is big enough for everyone and even though people say it's not casual today, it's an iOS. It should be easy, but I think we're past that. This is Eve Echoes, it's not casual, it's not hardcore. It is what you want it to be. And I see you guys again.